and welcome to my playthrough of Ego Death by Studio Kerosene. Uh, the Blinding Light playthrough. Ah, let's get into it. Begin. Hope you're doing well today. How are you? You doing well? Doing bad? Doing good? Let me know in the comments below. So I can go, you know, just let me know. Is that supposed to be here? Can I, like... There we go. <laughs> Dear Mr. Arkwright, that's how the letter started. We regret to inform you that your grandfather, Avery Arkwright, has passed away. You are the named you are named the sole beneficiary of his estate, with two provisions. First, that your grandfather will be interred next to your grandmother and their pets on the property. Second, your grandfather left specific instructions on prohibiting anyone but yourself from entering his home or the land that sits on after his death. At your earliest convenience, please proceed to the home and locate the title to the land so I can begin the necessary paperwork. I have enclosed your grandfather's house key. Best regards in these trying times. B.H. Nervig, attorney of law. Uh. Just like that. I was alone in the middle of nowhere. Why did they hyphenate nowhere? Unless I'm the forehead and that's how you actually do it. Oh, here I am. That's the house up there. I guess I'll have to walk the rest of the way up. All right. Oh, ooh. big stompy footsteps. Don't, don't. <laughs> I'm bouncy. Ooh. That's pretty. That's gorgeous. I like that. How are you? I know I asked that earlier, but I hope you're doing well. I appreciate you. Yeah, you. Watching right now. I'm calling you out. Thank you for watching this video. You. You in specific. No, no. Don't look at them. Don't be like, oh, he means the other guy. No, I mean you. But Brynn, this is a YouTube video. Oh, I know. I know, but you're still watching, aren't you? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm saying thank you. Okay? Don't make it weird, okay? Very happy you're here. Don't make it a weird thing, all right? Come on. What's wrong with you? This is a big property. Holy moly. I didn't know my grandfather owned a state park. Hello? Hello? Ooh, I can side dash. Whoa, we can see ourselves. That's wild. Dun, 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 dun. And finally, sprinting. I don't remember it being such a long, long up to the house. But I guess I was still being carried around the last time I was here. We were estranged. As most good horror game families are. It's getting dark. The dark. The dark souls. Just one pot out in the middle of nowhere. Another pot. Just one coffee mug out in the middle of nowhere. Cool. The dark souls. Oh, well, can I pick that up? There's a note folded up underneath the key. Grandson. I still remember you as a young lad visiting once a humored old man in his stories. I have one last story to share, but I must leave the ending to you. Good luck, Grandpa. Picked up the fence gate key. Press B to bring up your inventory. Oh, neato. I have two. It's a pack of cigarettes. Dad talked about Gramps smoking in the house growing up. He hated it. These were the only brand Gramps smoked. Dunk, 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 dunk. Peepo, I speed. I peepo, I speed. I peepo, I speed. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Wow, I'm really short all of a sudden. Hello? Oh, that's a pretty house. I like it. Get me in there. Actually, first, I'm going to miss the staircase entirely, I guess. Wow, I'm a short when I'm running. It's a pack of cigarettes. But... This is not the brand my grand smoked. The plot thickens. I don't know if you can hear that, so I'm going to turn up the game here for you. Do you hear that? It may be hard to hear over the wind, but there's definitely breathing. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I definitely hear that. That's crazy. I unlocked the door with the house key. 
<laughs> it's got a gun! It's an old cowboy pistol with a flashlight attached. Oh, we have combat? We have combat. Aim and fire. Reload with R. F to toggle flashlight. Gramps, what the hell has been going on here? That's crazy. A note from my grandfather. Grandson, I've locked the house up and laid out the keys for you. This should keep you out certain uninvited guests in my absence. I borrowed this flashlight from a friend. Take it with you as soon as you arrive. I love some notes about him to try and explain everything the best that I can. Whoa. Hello? This is crazy. Oh, it's the clock. I was like, what the heck is that noise? Picked up the upstairs key. A note from my grandfather. Grandson. When I came to survey this land before purchasing it, I took a near disastrous stumble into the chasm among the rocks. I thought for a time in that dark and desolate place would it was where I would meet my end, armed with only a pen light. I worked my way through narrow openings in the rock until they gave way to ancient mystery in the stingy and darkness below. When I eventually found my way out and home, I told no one, but quietly finished the purchase of the land. I was still trying to think of a way to explain it all to your grandmother when she fell ill. She died long before I could complete this house, where I intended to retire us together. The key will unlock the door to the keys upstairs. Go to the master bedroom, and I must ask a favor before we get to the work of your inheritance. From beyond the grave. He is asking for favors. Hey! Don't you mess with me. I'm loaded. I know to my grandfather's handwriting. At first, the creatures were so small. Uh, okay? Creatures were small, like insects. I hardly noticed them. A quick glance of my pen I extinguished them, and they seemed to flee when I looked at them. In truth, I pushed them from my mind when I first climbed back from that nightmare. Now they have grown so large and I cannot sleep. I feel them creeping around the house, or at least circling the outside, looking for a way in. It seems Abraham has some experience with these, or else the, with creatures of the similar nature. Um, yeah, creatures? Creatures. This escalated quickly. Um, why is this door open? Oh, that's ominous as hell. I'm not going down there yet. <laughs> Unlock the door with the house key. I definitely hear breathing in here. Oh, that's right. We can sprint. We don't have to deal with this. Peepo, speed. I have peepo, I speed. Meow. Hello? I locked the door with the upstairs key. Hey! Stick him up. Ooh, I don't like this. Very empty house. Not a lot going on. Nothing up here? Why can't you even see through the gun? How's he aims? Hello? A note from my grandfather. When someone you love has died, you can never be whole again. I have missed your grandmother now for so many years. Before I took up my hobby, I'd resolved to sit around and wait to die. I would like you to lay some flowers down on a grave for me one last time. These are the last of the flowers she planted so long ago. Please take these flowers up to your grandmother's grave. You'll need to go to my study if you wish to get the papers for the lawyer. I'll have the study key at the cemetery for you. Okay. There's another note over here. It's a letter from my grandmother to my grandfather. Looks like she wrote it while she was in the hospital. Avery, you need to promise me that you aren't going to just sit around and wait to die after I'm... <laughs> the writing actually wasn't that bad until that... <laughs> The boys will need you, their grandkids will need you, and there's still much for you to do in this life. I'm sorry that I can't stay to do with the, do that with you. Remember, no tears. I love you. Always, Amelia. Yeah, I'm a I'm a male. I don't ever cry. Crying is not masculine or helpful. So we can never cry. No matter how helpful for our mental health it would be, we are not allowed to cry. We are men, so we must suffer and not acknowledge mental health until things crack and our lives are ruined. Right? That's how it goes. Gotcha. Cool. Any bad guys? Memo received. No, no. Hmm, interesting. Grandpa, your house is boring. Grandpa, you need, like, a nice rug or something. You need, like, furniture. What is that? Is there something still here? It's the room I stayed in when I visited. 
I can't remember being excited about all the old books Gramps had. You read A Journey to the Center of the Earth to me in one sitting. Thanks, Gramps. In this dusty room with nothing in it? This is the, okay. What? I ran back it. I feel like this is trigger. This is supposed to trigger when like you walk into the room, but that's just like a action point, and I ran into it twice. It's a letter addressed to me. Peter, you do not know me, but I've become a close friend of your grandfather's in these last several years of his life. In that time, your grandfather and I have begun a plan to a joint venture together, which required gathering a substantial amount of funding. Your grandfather decided to sell his collection to quite a rare and valuable books, a collection he had planned to leave to you. Stubborn as he is, I could not dissuade him. I, for I was forced to purchase these books through him through a proxy. Sure, these books end up in your hands. It was the least I could do for an old friend. I'll be in touch to return home. Please take care of the pistol I loaned you. It was belonged to me for a very long time. I hope you don't have to use it. But if you do, don't hesitate. Oh, God, hello? <laughs> Creatures that take refuge in your grandfather's home are incredibly dangerous. Until recently, they were only active at night, but have grown large enough to withstand the light. Be careful. Until we meet. Abe. Abe Lincoln. So weird. Why do I, like, crouch when I run? Are you seeing this? Like, out. Ah! Yeah? Um, giant eyeballs? Really? Giant eyeballs. That's the creatures that you've been setting up this entire time. Giant eyeballs. Giant eyeballs. We've been scared and at the ready for giant eyeballs. Isn't the grave like down that way? Down the other way? I hate how the plant is just flashing in my face the entire time I am running. This is the worst. The grave is down here, isn't it? Or is it not? Hold on. It might be up here. Who knows? Oh, that's my bike. For when I was a kid, Gramps lent it to me with his last dollar that he had from an eight-hour shift that he worked. Thanks, Grandpa. You were the absolute best human to ever exist on the planet. There. I, I, you know, I saved you the dialogue. We didn't even need to go down there. We didn't even need to go down there. I got you. I got you. Why is the cemetery, like, up at the top of a mountain? Like, our hearse has to drive up here at some point, you know? Like, how are they getting up here, dude? Lay the flowers down. Lay them down. E to interact. I can leave the flowers here. Dad and Uncle Hudson talked about you a lot, and I know that they loved you. Seems more like Gramps really loved you, too. Rest in peace, Grandma. Grandpa picks out his own gravestone. The lawyer was very clear that he wanted to be buried here with Grandma. Maybe Dad would hate it, but I feel like I should bring his ashes out here. Everyone can be together. Yeah, just disrespect your father's wishes in death. A grave from my grandparents' dog, Shadow. The inscription reads... There are never enough days in a dog's life, and I shall miss you the rest of mine. Sag. You're from my grandpa's cat. Sassy. The inscription reads, Your spot in the house cannot be filled, and neither can your spot in my heart. Well. Picked up the study key. The letter from my grandfather wrote my grandfather and stated the day he died. Amelia, in some ways I am glad that you were the first to go. For you will not have to know the pain of continuing alone. Cut my life into pieces. Years have passed. I have woken and slept. Th sir, <laughs> sorry. I've woken and slept some thousands of times without you, and it's never going any easier. Now that this disease shall take my memories, I will truly be dead in spirit, if not in body. Bleah. But I will not wait for this disease to take all that I have left. I'll vote. Not although. I'll vote. I failed at keeping our family together. I hope you understand how hard that I tried. I feel strangely calm despite knowing I look at my last sunset. Goodbye, Amelia. I will always love you. Avery. Grants must have written this a little bit before he... He... He what? Went to go garden? Went to smoke? Went to start a joint venture? Went to save 50% or more on car insurance? Why'd you bring me out of the house, Gramps? Just so I can go back down to go to the study and then open the study. Can I just yeet off the mountain? No. Boo. 
get me out of here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Probably gonna cut out the walking because it's boring. Oh boy. Oh my god. Why are you okay? Why is your porch so big and why is your porch not like I I have so many questions. I still hear that breathing, like, right here. I don't know what that's supposed to be of. Is that supposed to be the monsters? I'm going to study upstairs. When am I going to see those monsters again? Are they just in the hallways now? No, that one. It was over here that was unlocked, right? Or that it was locked. Oh, there's a railing here. Neato. Oh, I can jump. Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! Whoa! I have a promising career in uh, basketball. It's locked. I'm gonna be molding if it's not. Who just? What? I promise. I don't do that in real life. I don't live in a barn. It's just a horror game, okay? Don't take it so seriously. Don't be weird, okay? Don't be weird. Are we gonna get attacked? Like in this hallway? We saw like one enemy and like never one ever again. I unlocked the door with the study key. Cool. Key hunt the video game. Oh, another one! What? I, I haven't got a key in forever. Thank you. Cool. Picked up the basement key. I know from my grandfather. You now must go into the basement. I loved you. I loved my family. But I suck. I've left the papers you need for the lawyer down in the basement along with the rest of my notes. I'm sure you'll find a use for them. It is difficult to explain in writing and easier when you can see it all laid out for yourself. Down there lies your true inheritance. Down there lies my legacy, whatever it may be. I spent nearly a decade studying it and only scratched the surface of my mystery. If you wish to know the answers I have and reach the ending, you will have to descend into this Dijin abyss I lost myself in so long ago. See, I love you, but I suck. I got you. You don't, even need, you don't even need to read those. I got you. Why do I shrink when I run? Oh my god, I just ran into that hole. Dunk. Oh, that's right. There's a whole hallway over here. There's just a doorway in the hallway for some reason. I'm going. I'm going. I unlocked the door with the basement key. Why did I hear footsteps? <laughs> okay okay what's the big deal what's the legacy what's the inheritance cough it up grandpa ooh a switch huh what did that do what's my inheritance dude cough it up where is it at Okay, what did that do though? Hello? Hello? Grandfather! Give me my stuff! Where is this? Where do I need to go? Mm -hmm. Grandpa, you suck. Oh, is it over here? Sorry. That shadow scared me and it was just me. Oh, did I unlock an even deeper basement? <gasps> A double basement! <laughs> Uh oh, I hear monsters. There's somebody. Ooh, purple glowy. He didn't even do anything. He just like sat there and then roared. Hello, are you okay, dude? <gasps> A triple basement. Amazing. This is great. This is unprecedented. <gasps> A quadruple basement, dude. This is the best house I've ever lived in. It's great. Thanks, thanks, Grandpa. You're the best. I have always wanted a quadruple basement. Oh, I thought we were about to get another basement. I was like, okay, that's a little too much. You need to dial back on the basements, Grandpa. It's a little too much. Can't have that many basements. Oh my god! Oh my god! You imagine the conversation he had with like 
the people that were constructing his home as contractors were like, yeah, big subterranean, four-level basement. Four-level basement, subterranean, long hallway, nothing in it. What's weirder, the fact they requested it or the fact that they said yes? That's the real question. Okay. Wait, I have to interact with something. Hello? Oh, it's in a note. Pages of notes in my grandfather's handwriting. I flipped to one at random and started reading. It was in its resting place within the ruins, among the bones of the poor soul that died in this bleak place, clutching it. I left the contents of this place undisturbed when, while I built the house above. I wanted to ensure I had privacy and all the necessary amnesties to safely navigate this tomb. Whether or not that was the purpose of this structure when it was built, it serves it now. The three tablets contained within the Ark, when exposed to the chemical agents that were used on the Ostraka reveal a manuscript of sorts in three parts, one of each on the tablets. The manuscript contains both coordinates and some detailed accounts of their people. Why are there dead things everywhere? I flip to one at random. There are no intact, intact species of pottery. Specimens. I said species. There are no intact specimens of pottery within this structure, only fragments of varying but similar sizes. It was only thanks to Abraham's suggestion that we exposed them to a chemical agent, which revealed the messages written upon them. With painstaking effort, I translated each fragment using the alphabet we devised from the tablet in Abraham's possession. Each Ostraka uh, contains what appears to be a name and short message on each. Purposes I can only guess. <coughs> I'm going to keep that in just just for you. I suspect the poor souls who were within made an attempt to record the names of as many of their fellows as they could before they succumbed. It's not how you're supposed to uh, and became entombed with the structure. Boom. God, man. Did you want me to play the game or read the game? Did you want me to play the game or read the game? Time moves on, and we all must want something to be remembered. We want our lives to mean something to those that come after. And another one. Skull resembles a temporary, a contemporary goat, but a radiometric dating pigs at somewhere between the range of 500 and 700,000 years old. The proportionate body for the skull would make the goat the size of a horse. Several notes written within my grandfather's handwriting. It just said hand. It didn't say handwriting. They're written in his hand. We found his hand. The right here, right in the hand. Radiometric dating, both potassium-40 and radium-238, and the samples of rock return dates between 1.3 to 1.5 million years ago. Uh, samples of rock, which make up the structure, are far older, and the labs that were able to pr process the samples could not get an accurate reading behind 7.5 million years old. Hey, the skeletal remains accurately has been proved more than difficult, but with confidence, I estimate that they are more than 400,000 years old. Bwah! Predating current estimations of the oldest anatomically modern humans. Bwah! And they let you keep those. They let you keep it. My good scientists. Long before the Epic of Gilgamesh was even being uh, composed, these people appeared to have advanced civilizations that somehow built the structure in the northern Canada. And they let you keep all this stuff? Yo! Hello? That's not how that works. Archaeology doesn't work that way! Oh, I too have seen Lord of the Rings. Mine's Amoria. peek -a -boo. Hey, I see you. Yes, that was a pun, and yes, that was for you, okay? It's called being entertaining or stupid. One of the two. It's up to you. You decide down in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, long range. <laughs> oh, I see you. You can't hide from me. Put shot. Get him. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You thought you could dare live in my presence? Put Get him. He's sad. He's dying. You know? What, dude? Did you respond? I like how the floating enemy could not, like, just come get me up here. It had to take the stairs like everybody else. Okay? You know? Now, if they just touch me, do I just die? Or do I have, like, health? I don't want to find out, because I don't want to replay any of this. Watch out. Oh, oh, I'm reloading! Ah! There we go. Sorry. I will behave. 
a little. Enough. I will behave enough. Dun. I didn't even press E. I just kind of started reading it. Peter, if you are reading this, you have done well and held your nerve long enough to discover your true inheritance. This place is what I discovered on my first visit to survey this land after a slip in hours alone in cramped tunnels in darkness. I built the house to allow me to study these ruins in secrecy, and I was vindicated when I tried to speak to your father about it. He cut me from his life, fearing I was mad or ill, and fa I faced doctors wishing to examine my head. Even some government lick splittles came sulking about Then why didn't you just show it to them? If it's just in your basement, just go to be like, hey, it's downstairs, boys. Come on downstairs. And then show them. What, like, what do you mean? that They didn't believe you. You, you had physical evidence. There is some deeper mystery. Yeah, here? You want you want to behave, dude? There's some deeper mystery. Hair is the worst thing. You should just go bald. There's my TED talk. There is some deeper mystery about that I have only scratched the surface of in my lifetime. If you've read the notes I left you in the other room, you know the gold tablets once in this chamber. This chamber. This chamber contain messages, and among them coordinates coordinates because not coordinates coordinates co, co hyphen ordinates to an ancient undiscovered city and they tell the tale as well as what lies within the city which brings me to the crux of the thing you have perhaps now guessed the nature of the venture abraham and i meant to embark on the expedition into this ancient city like the explorers of old delving into the unknown it was to be a realization of my deepest boyhood fantasy but I shall not now live in to fulfill it. I have good days and bad days, but I will soon not remember anything from my life. Yeah, being dead does that. Even if my body can survive, who I am will be dead. These wounds won't seem to heal. This faith is just too real. In the preparations have been made, a team carefully selected, and a great mystery of our world awaits to be solved. Take my place on the expedition. Continue what I have built here. You do not have to, but I believe you are driven by some mad curiosity that drives me or the same. I just read that wrong. It wasn't a typo that time. Just look at where your feet have carried you. I stayed down there for a long time. Like my grandfather, I felt a kind of compulsion towards the ruins. I had to learn more. I read through the journals and notes he'd left down there for me. The title for the lawyer has tucked safely in there with the rest of the documents. Somehow I thought I was still trying to decide what to do. But deep down I knew I was going on that expedition. Oh. 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 Um... I guess that's it. <laughs> I put the menu, the escape menu over the game and now it won't go away. <laughs> I'm breaking it. Yeah, break it. Oh my God. Hello. Oh my god, what have I done? Hello? Hold on. Look, I'm paused. I'm simultaneously paused for playing the game. Hey, breaking horror games, one game at a time. Let's go. Oh my, oh my god, now there's two. This is getting out of hat. Now there are two of them. <laughs> what the, what is happening? Okay. <laughs> okay, we have made it back. We are here. We have made it back to the center. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was um, interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> that got really screwy at the end there. That got, I got worrisome there at the end. Um, so, <laughs> so that's Ego Death um, by Studio Kerosene. So like, I, I checked and it's not a demo. So that's a full game. Um, I did not purchase this, uh, for a short time it was free. It is now on the Geo store page for $2. It, it's, it's a cool start. I thought it was, I thought it was a great demo, but then I found out it wasn't a demo. Um, like that was a great groundwork for like a full game, like with different areas and cool stuff going on. Okay. I guess the music just 
I can't, I'm not making this up. The music just stopped <laughs> in the middle of the menu for like no reason. I didn't alt tab. I didn't touch anything. Like it just stopped. So I guess we're doing the rest of this uh, in, in in silence. <laughs> so so um yeah, this was a great demo. It was first starting concept. Um, it showed like you can make interesting environments. You can like you know have enemies that have AI that aggro, and you have a good story groundwork. Um, maybe not tell it in like th literally like, you know, make me read a novel to literally understand anything in the story. Maybe do a little bit more of showing, not telling, uh, because like I was getting really fatigued, just like not like I was reading literally like, pages and pages and pages. I, I, I started from feeling like really like attached to this grandfather figure to just hating him at the end. Cause he never shut up. <laughs> He's like, go, go to the graveyard. I loved my grandma. Now go down to the study. Oh, I loved you too. Now go down to the basement. Now go to the ancient crypt. Like, it's like, like I was reading, like, like, I want to play your game, not read your game. I can read your synopsis. I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't want to read the game, you know? Um, and like, <sighs> trying to be kind here, uh, or be as nice as I can here, but uh, I don't think this is worth Two dollars. I don't think it is. I think this is a good foundation for like a full game. I think this is a like in terms of just like a a a flat out demo for a, a a a full experience. Like this was really cool, and it showed like you have like all the groundwork to make something really neat. But charging two dollars for this when it clearly isn't a full experience. Like I beat this in without like if we're. This video is going to be longer or shorter because I'm cutting stuff out. But I beat this around 30 minutes because I've been talking for a while now and doing other things. Um, yeah. So, like, that was a 30 minute experience that <sighs> didn't really have a lot going on. Like, you had combat, which was fun. Uh, but, like, the enemies just kind of ran at you and it was extremely they were extremely easy to deal with, which is like what I'm saying is like, that's fine. It was good. But not in the context uh, that it's being treated like a full game and now you're charging money for it. Um, there are much better games that like and much longer games, much more fully created games that aren't charging money uh, for their product. Um, I think this is a good first showing. I think this like I'm I would be happy to play like something else that Studio Kerosene makes. But I wouldn't I, I got I got to claim this because they were doing like a sale thing. Uh, I got to claim it. But like I wouldn't not pay two dollars for this um just because it's not a full game it's not even it's i wouldn't even say that it's like like it's just not there's not enough going on to really warrant a two dollar price tag there's just not um and i was really shocked when i came back to the page today and i saw that um but yeah like this is a good first showing this is good like first go um and it would, if you just marked if you just said demo if you literally just put demo at the top of this i'd be like that's pretty good a little, a little reedy, a little, like making me read like pages upon pages upon pages. I don't want to read a novel, but the the stuff like I, I would want to see the full game. But apparently this is a full game and it is being sold for money. And I don't agree with that. Uh, I don't think that I don't think it's at that point yet. Um, but yeah, that's just how I feel based on, you know, other games that I've played. I still did a good job. I just don't think it's full game or worth for the two dollars. Uh, that was being paid. Um, but yeah, um, otherwise like you, like it was really cool. I, I, I like, like while the pages did drag on like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, like I got a very good idea of like the family dynamic, uh, the relationships between people, um, you know, hints at what's ready to come before we actually got into the monsters and we got into the, um, the ancient civilization stuff like there was a lot of setup and that setup was good and i i'm i'm you know that that stuff was great like i said and you said tldr it it would have been a great demo but apparently it's a full game and it is being sold for two dollars so that i don't agree with but hey I, I don't i don't make decisions i'm just here to play games and make you smile yeah so <laughs> yeah uh thank you so much for watching uh if you like what i do make sure you you know you do the likey thing because if you hit the like button then more people find me and i would really appreciate if more people found me and i appreciate you for watching and doing your part uh and you know being you like this is a i do this for you and i i happily do it every single time i record like i'm having a blast you know making stuff for you like i really am so and but like you're the one that intakes it you know you're it, it takes two to tango 
So thank you for being you. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. <laughs> bye bye.